Hey, what's going on, guys? Chaz here with another breakdown for you. So we're going to be breaking down the official international trailer for Ghostbusters Afterlife. Uh, if you are in our part of the country, so sometimes it came up as Ghostbusters Afterlife Trailer 3. Um, but with everybody else, international trailer. Um, let's start right from the beginning. Um, let's see. We're going to be here. All right. So I lowered the volume down a little bit. And yeah. Let's get right into this. So right here, we have um, a truck driving. We have a ghost trap right here. And then we see a ghost hit a truck. Now, the ghost, I think, hitting the truck is uh, one of the demon dog, the the, the, um, the evil dogs, obviously. Uh, uh, you know, I think it's the one with the horns, the one that stands up on two legs that you get out of the toy. Um because it seems like that one can have some damage. The reason I say that you'll see in a little bit, um, the way it's walking and everything. So we have a car flipping and everything. So obviously, and this is a new shot right here of uh, of the farm where um, Egon lived. Um, you can see that over here, it says this is how it ends right here. It looks like a crazy per person um, was writing things. Maybe Egon was bugging out in his last couple of years. Right here, you see the barn where the car is stashed. And this is the house with all the old cars in front of it. Maybe Egon got parts from it to fix the Ecto or something. And scientist was grandpa. Right here, you obviously can tell this is Egon in his later years uh, holding up a ghost trap. Um, and the thing I was talking about before, as you can see, this thing that's walking has two feet. You know, it's not working. All, it's not walking on all fours, so it's not a the, the natural dog. It is um, the one that's the horned one that's walk on two that walks on two legs. So my assumption is that he's going to be capturing this um, entity and putting it in the ground here. And this is the one that Phoebe finds. Um, I found this in my living room. So did her finding the ghost trap? Obviously, um, you have Finn Wolfhart finding the the Ghostbuster Ecto One, and right here you have Paul Rudd holding the trap, which I was obviously talking about from before, um, holding the de the devil dog, um, or the demon dog. So they didn't let him out here. So he's playing with the trap. Obviously, it's it, it it's holding the entity in there. This thing is real. Somehow, a town that has no fault lines is shaking on a daily basis. What is that? Right here, you see a entity going into the mind and repairing um, the doorway or the symbol for Zul. So I think this is the picture. There's an image in uh, one of the trailers that actually has um, this image of the stairway and Zul standing here with the two dogs on the side. I'm guessing this is the last piece of that to open this um, doorway for Zul. Maybe it's the apocalypse. Oh my God. Obviously we get the kids going down to the mind. We see that um, from the last trailer, but that scene right before was a new kind of piece to that. This isn't a mine. It's a gateway. <laughs> uh, this is definitely new. Um, so um, a lot of people have said, um, not from the movie, seeing the movie, but just in general, um, we're going to see a lot of these mini puffs like destroying themselves. This whole scene is just them murdering each other in weird ways. And it's funny because it's them, but it's kind of horrifying if you actually think about it. Like this right here. <laughs> <laughs> New music kicks up, the mulcher eating. Um, I love this car. That's new right there. The the kid podcast that's supposed to be the Ray character. Go, go, go! So they're actually using the theme from Ghostbusters um, Answer the Call, um, which is the only good part of that about that movie. <laughs> This is new right here. This is the mulcher. Actually, let's go back to this real quick. This is pretty cool. I didn't realize this the first time I saw it. So, muncher, sorry, I said okay, mulcher. 
Um, so this is new right here. They're speeding to try to capture the muncher. And he actually is spitting parts of things he's ate at the Ecto-1 and is destroying the Ecto-1. It's, as you can see, it's flying off, hitting hitting the Ecto-1 itself. Um, ba -ba -ba -bing -bing, you know, all this stuff right here. And this is also new. Phoebe losing control of the Proton Wand. Obviously, it's powerful. It has a nice kick to it. So a kid holding it in a chair is going to be hard for her to hold. What exactly is happening here? That was new right here. I didn't notice that the first time. I wonder what this is right here. So, okay. So, uh, so it looks like Egon has traps laid around this temple because he's been down here. And this is a proton wand shooting whatever is supposed to come out. Oh, okay. So now, oh my God, I'm, I'm just ruining the movie for myself. So I'm guessing he has traps laid out to do the, to, to replicate um, uh, the closing of the portal of, you know, if they pop out the portal, it, it ignites, it stops them from coming back. But our grandfather started. So that's new driving over. Um, actually, let me go back. I saw something else kind of new here. Um, let's go back. But our grand we see uh, Phoebe and uh, Podcast looking on to something. Um, it looks like if you look at in her glasses right here, you can kind of see uh, it looks like lights from a proton pack. So maybe this is when the old Ghostbusters show up and help them out. Father started. Good. So, okay, so this is what I was talking about from before. I think they released this entity into the world and Egon caught it to stop the stop Zool from coming back. So right here, that's him right there, and that's also him. This is him getting released from the trap that he was locked away in that Egon ca captured him in. And he lets go, boom. Not good. And they're saying it's not good that we that we let that thing out. And this is um obviously Finn Wolfhart's character um, looking on to something incredible, which is happening at the end of the movie, I'm guessing. Which probably is that Zool coming back. That's uh, Egon's daughter, obviously looking upon the same kind of thing. And right there, that nobody's talking about, this is... This is Zool right here coming out the grave. Uh, and obviously here's another shot of the dogs chasing... This is completely new. Paul Rudd seeing the demon dog. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I love this scene. Walking, th running through a Walmart. Ghostbusters Afterlife. And that is it. So, um, guys, that was a little quick little breakdown of uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. I hope you liked it. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below. If you saw something I missed, please let me know. Um, I love doing these breakdowns. I'll do more if you want. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.